everyone, my name's Natasha and welcome to my channel Hooks and Stitches. Today's video is Free Pattern Friday but before I get into it because I do have a fair few uh, patterns for you this week I would just like to say that I have had a few of the subscribers um, knock off um, in the last couple of days and I was listening to another um, YouTuber um, and she was saying that YouTube automatically um, deletes subscribers that haven't watched for a while. So um, I urge you um, to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel if you want to be because um, they, um, the subscribers uh, mean the world to me and obviously you get a notification on all of my videos that I um, that I post um, and so it is quite important um, if so if you like what you see and you've seen my past videos then please do um, subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I would be really appreciative and of course you can comment because I love to read everyone's comments and I'm having a fair few new ones um, start commenting now so I can have conversations with them so thank you very much for that um, like I said I have got a fair few this week so I'm going to just get straight into it now first of all um, I am going to I've got I the ones I've chosen, I've got a few different ones of the same thing, just in case one doesn't, you know, you don't like one, but you might like the other. And I was uh, talking to Sally from Nan uh, Nanny Moon's Crochet. Hi, Sally. Um, and she um, did mention this in, in her video too, to say that there wasn't very many um, teapot um, cosies um, around that she could find so I took it upon myself to set aboard a mission uh, to find some that maybe she hasn't even come across because if there isn't if she thinks um, that there isn't very many out there then I'm going to enlighten her and see if she wants to do a few of these for the lovely ladies that she is making uh, tea cosies for so that they um, have a couple that they can use and wash at the same time. So Sally, keep your eyes peeled and have a look at these. First of all, um, I've got one from Yarnspirations and it's very colourful. And I love the little, um, what I call plaits running up the side. And I think they call this stitch the Jacob's Ladder because I I think I've got um, a pattern for a blanket like this um, and I did start it years and years ago and then um, I couldn't find the hook I used and I didn't see the point in keeping it so I did frog it but that was a long long time ago and they're suggesting to use the Lily Sugar and Cream um, cotton for this but of course you can use DK or um, even Aran um, if you wanted to but obviously the bigger the yarn the bigger the cosy will be depending on the size of your teapot obviously um, and they're saying to use one two three four five six different colours of course you don't need to you can just do it all one colour if you do choose to but I do love the fact that um, it looks like a rainbow in the picture and it gives it just that little bit more of of an interest rather than having it completely plain and they're saying to use a five millimeter hook but of course depending on um, the yarn you use it all depends what they recommend um, the hook size to be and they are also saying that uh, Uh, hold on a minute. I saw it here somewhere. Yes, um, it's they're saying that it's an intermediate pattern, uh, but I know that Sally is getting better and better at her um, her crochet, um, thanks to the lovely or 
sometimes not so lovely uh, 3D squares that we're doing together um, for our Monday videos and I know that she had a mission this year to um, stretch her knowledge and to try new things so when I saw this I thought it this well might be one um, that she would be interested in so I will show you again sorry about the colour flashing in and out I'm sat by the window and the and the sun keeps going in so um, there is a gauge but again I don't think a gauge really um, matters for this it all depends on the size of your teapot in which case then I think you would just measure it and find out whether it would suit but the gauge says 13 single crochets and 14 rows per four inches which is 10 centimeters and it's really self-explanatory really but um, it also gives you on the back um, diagrams if you're using di if you like to use diagrams um, they're all there and I thought it was a very nice pattern um, I don't think this was the whole pattern because what I've been doing now um, because obviously I'm using lots of paper and lots of ink I've just been uh, printing off the bits that um, I need you to know um, and to show you and then when I if I ever want to do them myself then I can just carry on because it's on my computer I can just print off the rest of it um, but a lot of these yarnspiration ones are just um, two sides so it uses one piece of paper um, and not a great deal of ink but obviously when I'm printing off loads and loads to show you um, it does mount up so I am trying to be careful as well um, but maybe it'll be fine when I can take some photos and show you here and here when I've actually managed to gauge it but I I haven't mastered it and to be honest I've been way too busy with lots and lots of crochet to show you um, to even think about that yet but as time goes on I may well do so there's that one um, and then I found one that looks like a country garden and I love that I think that's really really clever I like the fact that you can embroider little bits and pieces on it to make it look really pleasing to the eye and make it look like um, wild flowers growing you can put beads um, in the centre to make them look like um, more realistic flowers and I really love it and this one is called the Grandma Dot Tea Cozy and it's a free pattern oh oh yes I told you it was yarn inspirations on the last one uh, this one um, is published um, it, oh this one's quite an old one it was published in 2017 um, And the I think it's a yarny robin that the pattern comes from. Uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the pattern makes a tea cozy that fits a, a standard four cup teapot. Um, she used less than 50 grams of Starcraft Special DK and um, in the colourways of cream and raspberry which she used for the base colours and then she used different colour yarns in the photo uh, ah, please note that I used a uh, different colour yarn in the photo tutorial below because um, this was one that had lots and lots of photos as you went along um, which I also liked because then you can't go wrong you know if it looks like it looks in the picture then you know you're on the right track and then it was just yarn scraps to do the uh, flowers and things and she used the colors lipstick saffron meadow fondant gold shrimp lime khaki and grape again you don't need to use those colors just use what you have and just make the best of it but again I just wanted to make sure um, just you know that that people are aware of it 
and to give another variation of a teapot cosy um, for for anyone not just Sally of course um, but I know she was specifically asking so that's what I aimed it at today um, and now we are um, I do have a few more hold on just a minute I want to see how many I've done oh yes um, this one here is it says it's the world's easiest tea cosy and I would tend to agree because it's literally just granny squares and then they're sewn together at the top and bought in hold on a minute let me, I don't know if you can see that properly yes that's fine um I bought in um to be like a scrunchie on the top uh, well gathered up and I think it just it does up with some string so you can get it off again for easy um, cleaning and I love the fact again that there's photos so that you know that you're on the right track so it's good even for um, the beginners now It explains it all along again I haven't um, I haven't printed off the whole of the pattern um, but it's all um, written in each of the steps um, and then got a photo to show you so that you know where you're going with it and I just like that and again you can do any colors that you like and any yarn that you like it doesn't say um, specifically which uh, which yarn to use on here it just says that she used four millimeter hook and eight ply yarn and eight ply is um, DK um, I'm sure it's eight um, eight eight ply um, for DK but um, don't shoot me if I'm wrong and then it says that um, And then you join it um, when you've done the two and it all looks quite straightforward and then you just use a darning needle to pair it up and then the handle and the spout will be each side of it so it's just literally the body of the tea cozy that is covered so again for someone that doesn't want one that's too fancy I think that would be fine and even if you didn't use um, different colours and you did it all in one I don't think that would be bad either and then we've got um, one from the green dragonfly and it's a crochet tea cosy pattern and it's called the rosy posy and it's just a plain blue one um, again you don't need to use blue of course um, and then it's got some roses on the top and with this one I like this one for a reason just purely because you measure around your teapot and then make sure that you've got um, enough yarn to go around and then you just keep going round and round and round and then put the flowers on the top um, and for the one that I said, oh yes, the, the one with the flowers on the sides, I forgot to say, the one with the flowers on the sides, they do have a video tutorial as well, um, which um, when uh, you click onto the pattern, which I'll put all in the description box below, you will see it. Um, and then obviously you can uh, follow by video not just the written instructions if you want to and I'm not sure if this one has got the same no I'm not actually sure um, but all these are American terms um, and on a few of the patterns which I will get to as I go along um, they do have the UK ones as well so that I thought was quite good 
and I have been bearing that in mind for the people that um, that don't know um, either either so then they can uh, do it without having to translate it or convert it um, so yes this one is pretty straightforward like I said again I haven't done the whole of the pattern um, it's pretty um, self-explanatory uh, when you click onto it because it's got lots of photos and things again so um, so that's it really got one with flowers on if you like that sort of thing now we're getting into the fun ones and I've got there's two tea cozies left so for those of you that's really bored of seeing them <laughs> I'm sorry but I just wanted to have a quite a good variation so that you could see um, what there is out there if you didn't know and this is one called the Rooster Tea Cozy by Bird, Birdle Bee. And um, this designer was asked by a dear friend if they could make a red rooster tea cozy. Um, he has a standard size teapot with a circumference of 22 inches and a height of 8 inches. This tea cozy fits perfectly and the body has a, has a slight sideways give so would fit a bigger teapot so that's handy too and this pattern is really simple using basic stitches although there are eight parts this it's straightforward and if you're comfortable with basic stitches and construction this pattern shouldn't present any technical difficulties for you now i think that's really nice of the designer to say so because sometimes you can look at a pattern and think oh yeah it's really straightforward a bit like our 3d um 3d squares that we do on a monday you think they're straightforward but when you actually get into it actually it is quite difficult and so it's really nice for them to actually explain the fact that there are lots of things to sew on and there are um only basic um stitches involved and things like that because not a lot of people do explain that in patterns um, and then um, she's given the yarn um, requirements below for the red rooster but you can also mix them up and use any colours that you fancy and the bottom circumference is about 23 inches which is 58 centimetres the height of the body is about 8 inches which is 20 centimetres and the height to the top of the cone of the rooster um, I'm going like this but you know what I mean <laughs> uh, um, the height of the top of the comb is 12 inches about 30 centimeters so without further ado I'll show you what it looks like now isn't that cute I love it and I also love the blue one too I think that's really cool but of course you can use any colors you like and you could even use yarn scraps and do it multicolored I think and the materials for the red rooster she has they have used Stylecraft special chunky so of course you know if you're using DK then it might work up a little bit smaller um, but again when you're using special um, special crafts uh, style craft special um, yarns they do have a lot of give and so it's fine and I think it would be um, would be fine no matter what you used as long as you measured and made sure that it was right the main body wings tail comb and wattles uh, um, uh, use one skein of red the hat uh, the head and the tail a small amount of gold and the beak is just an oddment of cream using a 5.5 millimeter hook a small amount of stuffing i'm guessing that's for the head and the neck and two safety eyes approximately six to eight millimeters if you prefer not to use safety eyes then you can also sew them on in black um this is um uk uh american terms um, throughout but obviously you can um, change them to English if you want to do the conversion 
and it's all pretty laid out straightforwardly so you can't um and it's all nicely spaced out as well so you can't necessarily oh hang on a minute I'm trying to do it so the glare isn't there it's all nicely laid out so that you're not going to get confused between the lines and then last but not least i have saved the cutest one till last and that is a sheep isn't he just adorable love it love it love it oh this light hang on let me see if i can move it around a little bit see if that helps not really she says but isn't he absolutely lovely <laughs> oh, he's so cute i myself have got a peter rabbit um teapot and mine is quite a big substantial one um and it lasts me all morning um, so I might have to make that one for myself because he does look so cute. Anyway, the materials are 60 grams of Stylecraft uh, Special DK in cream and 15 grams in silver for his little grey face. Again, you can use any colours, it doesn't really matter. And it's just scraps of black for the embroidery and... A cream button which is optional and I'm assuming that's to do it up when you put it around it using um, an H or an 8 in US terms hook or five millimeters as we know it or a three millimeter hook a yarn needle stitch marker safety pin short length of contrasting yarn small amount of filling for the face and the size this size fits a six inch high and 19 inch around teapot to alter the pattern increase or decrease the starting chain in multiples of four and increase or decrease the number of rows before row 24 so there you go that's really handy to know um for of how to do it So the designer has actually thought of that as well. And that's really nice because it takes the guesswork out of it, doesn't it? So. There you go, Sally. I know you like sheep as well. So. That's it for teapots, everyone. Now I'm going to move on. Now, I was asked to see if I could find cup covers or glass covers um, so that when because obviously the summer evenings are coming and um, I say the summer evenings are coming let's hope they do stay here um, because I know that there is rain forecast but then we won't talk about that I'm not going to digress because the weather is something of a of a quandary but still if you're out in the garden, you're socialising and you're having tea and cake or just having um, having a cocktail or anything like that, just sat reading a book or crocheting for us um, crafters, um, it would be nice so that our cup could stay on our stalls or, or on our tables um, without having bugs in. So um, I... wanted to look to see if I could find any and I have found two not one but two and the first one is on a cup now isn't that lovely it looks so quaint and dainty and really posh looking doesn't it oh hang on let me let me see if I can Okay. There. Look at that. And it's 
got some beads to weigh it down on the sides as well and this is just um, it's simply shown in the pattern measure six inches across from point to point it's in US terminology and as long as you know how to do double crochet uh, triple cro treble crochet sorry front post and uh, front post double trebles and front post singles and the pico I think you'll be alright but there is tutorials if you really want to make it and you're not sure how there is tutorials on YouTube for everything so you could always just type it in and find out how to do it first and then not worry about it the the uh, pattern for this is by Circium Crochet don't shoot me if I've got that pr uh, pronunciation wrong but it's S I uh, sorry C I R S I U M crochet and they have got cover um, patterns uh, photos as you do the pattern so that you don't get lost um, and you know that you're on the right track when you look in the in the photos and then the rest is written but I think that's a really really lovely idea just to put over the top to deter the bugs because you really don't want bugs in your drink and you don't want to be sucking up flies in your straw um, because I can't think of anything worse than that um, and then I found one that holds a glass just so that you know the difference so you can see the difference and this one has beads on as well and I suppose that's a good thing because of it being um, weighted down um, and, and then it's not just going to get lifted by the wind and this one um, it says keeps your pesky summer bugs out of your chilled drink wine glass or cup cover free crochet pattern and the supplies are Aunt Lydia's classic 10 crochet thread you don't need to use crochet thread Fred you can use um, cotton DK anything um, it's a 2.25 millimeter crochet hook and seven pretty beads with a little for a little bit with a little bit of weight to them again just so that it makes sure that it stays on the top and doesn't get blown off um, and that is all I've got for you um, for the pattern because um, there was just lots and lots and lots um, of adverts through because it wasn't um, a PDF but if you go onto it you'll see um, and then you'll be able to um, to sort it out. This one also does have um, a video tutorial, so you could click onto it and watch the tutorial instead. Um, but I just thought I would show you so that there is two variations and you can actually see what it looks like. Now, um, I just want to check something because I did think I had one more of those. So, just let me have a look very quickly because I think it may have got lost in between everything else in fact well if it comes across in a minute when I've got um, when I look through the rest of it then that's fine we'll do it like that otherwise we might be here a while seeing as I've already been 28 minutes so we will crack on um, this time we're going to talk about um this that i found now this is a bit different because um last week i think it was or one of the weeks even last week or the week before i chose um uh sunscreen or uh lips of um covers and i saw this this week um and it is a lighter color cover so for those of you that smoke or keep a lighter in your pocket if you're camping or whatever for uh, barbecues or or whatever the reason um i saw some covers for your lighter so they don't need to be boring and i've printed off three different ones 
just to show you they're all the same principle all by the same designer um, but I love it and I actually think that even if it wasn't for a lighter if you did have it as a lipstick cover or something like that 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 would be just as good and so this one is a fish this one is a, a unicorn and this one is a mermaid's tail so we'll just quickly go through these and it says <coughs> it says hey crafty people it's an exciting week because you guys are getting two free blog patterns i have a pattern sale um during the 4th of july well I, this is must be old so it's fine it's just um, the opening thing um obviously one is going to be a lighter cover because you just can't stop i can't stop making them and the other one is um is in my paid patterns on Ravelry. so this i did get from Ravelry, and the designer is a cup of crochet and um i think this there's some dates on the side from for archives and things like that so I'm assuming it is quite an old pattern so don't worry about the 4th of July or anything like that because that must have been back then when they were doing it um, and um, the materials are needed is just literally um, it says uh, worsted weight yarn or cotton and a 3.25 millimeter hook some eyes some craft glue some scissors and a needle and this person has used uh, Bonnet Super Value, again, you can just use any DK, it doesn't matter, um, or any worsted weight, which is Aran over um, for here in the UK. Um, and the gauge is four double crochets and two rounds, which is approximately an inch. I don't really think it would matter that much if you didn't have gauge, but um, again, just measure whatever it is, whether it's a lighter or um, your lipstick tube or whatever then then just measure it but I wanted to show you them just because I stumbled across them and it's just a little bit different than having a plain one so they're all the same just a little different so that's that um, now we're going to just move along to still keeping to covers for a minute um, and I found one for a water bottle which is literally like even a pop bottle that if you wanted to cover your um, Fanta or or Pepsi Max or something like that um, or just the bottle of water itself um, because they're not just you know for drinker um, ones that you know I've got the straws in and, uh, and all of that so I thought I would um, just show you that and they call it a sweaty gator cozy so it must be an American thing I think or, or something like that but again I'll post it all in the description box below um, and it just gives a brief description um, and they use any sort of yarn cotton or anything like that um, you could even use DK so that's fine they've used um, they've used worsted weight and a 4.5 millimeter hook um, again you know there's not really much to say about it and it looks plain but you can do it in any color and you could put any embellishments on it that you wanted if that was what you wanted to do and the other one is for cans now I was quite um, I quite like these because it's not very often you see a cover for cans and it's even got a lid so that will stop the bugs from flying in um, and I thought that was just really really clever um, and this is from Tomboy Nanny 
and it's an outdoor movie night can cosy so I just think it's fun it's just something completely fun um, in it it's in the colour variation that looks like they're going to the movies, like the old fashioned, um, you know, the old fashioned uh, negatives that used to be in um, camera rolls and things. And I just thought it was really, really fun and just had to show you. Um, this one is the favourite things about summer is outside movie nights. Um, oh, they're in Los Angeles, so that's the reason why they say that. Um, there are tons of opportunities uh, to pack a picnic and a few drinks. Um, la 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 la. Materials are worst. Again, they're using worsted weight, but it doesn't matter. You can use cotton or DK or anything like that. Um, and the yarn in the pictures used mostly from yarn scraps. I need a tapestry needle, some scissors and a 5mm crochet hook. Again, if you're using a lot thinner yarn, then you can just go down a hook size and that's fine. But I wanted to show you that because it was just so fun when I saw it. And I thought, it's not very often you see one for cans, especially with a lid. Um, and that's it, really. That's Again, when you click onto it, you'll see all about it. But... That was just fun and I had to show you. Uh, the next one, I'm really not sure about this um, and I've only printed out um, the last page because it was the best picture um, of it um, but it was 14 pages long which I didn't want um, to print out um, just purely because it's not my thing but I wanted you to know just in case there was any makers there um, out there and it's for the... Uh, macrame macrame or something if that's how you say it and so I thought that this one would be quite a good one and they do give it really detailed um, on there it's not um it wasn't a PDF it was just uh, it was on like a website blog thing um, and it's just literally all detailed and it's really nice. You are able to print it out because I printed this one um, and I just chose this this singular page. Um, but it also gives a video tutorial, I think, when, when I went on there. And it shows in detail each and every little tiny thing. And you can actually, um, of you know, at each stage, how to how to knot it and tie it and how to make sure it's all the same length and everything. So I just wanted to show you it and I will be um, putting it down in the description box below. So if you want to go and have a look, you can. Um, but there isn't very many of these patterns around and when I saw it, I thought I had to show you. Um, the flower of the week. Um, this week is lavender and again, um, it's for a confident beginner, so it's all fine. US terms. The gauge is not important for this pa for this pattern. And as long as the stitches are tight without any gaps, if you struggle getting tight enough stitches, then try a smaller hook. That's what they recommend. Um, a three millimeter crochet hook and some flower wire for the stem and DK yarn. And they reckon it's approximately 10 grams to make one and obviously of the purple shade. And it's just a tiny little photo to show you this time. But I thought that would be nice to add to the um, bouquet. And there's also a YouTube um, tutorial to go with it and it says how to crochet a lavender plant um, and it has got it when you click you know when you actually go and have a look at the pattern it will give you the live link um, to press on or if you just type it into YouTube I'm sure it will come up now now we're gonna get to the things that I've chosen 
from the hobby website. Um, I've got some amigurumis. Hang on a minute, I just need to make sure that I've got everything here. And yes, so first of all, I am going to show you a lovely shawl that I came across and I love the texture and the look of this one again you you know you can use any yarn um, at all but this one is um, a design but a quiet midnight hobby design it's a crochet pattern the lakeside shawl And I really love that. I love everything about it. The colours, the textures, everything. And I think that would be lovely on um, autumn and winter walks or even summer, I suppose. Um, you know, when you're walking the dog late and it's a little bit breezy. I mean, summer weather's much to be desired by, isn't it? As we've said before. <laughs> anyway, um, this one, the materials are three skeins of well they're saying to use portobello but I don't know what that is I'm assuming it's worsted weight three skeins of a cognac colour three skeins of cappuccino colour three skeins of hunter's green and three skeins of americano again it doesn't matter I can look at that and think oh I need a bit of green and some orange and some um, some brown and some cream and then match it all up from what I've got behind me so I'm you know don't be put off by what it what it says in the patterns because you don't have to use it if you don't want to or if you can't actually get it um, the hobby website though do sell yarn if you are interested in getting exactly the same they do sell it and they do have lots of offers on um, quite regularly um, and it's got a link on the pattern it's got a link to where you can buy the yarn there and also there is um, a hashtag for the social medias if when once you've if you have do actually make it um, for hashtag hobby lakeside and hashtag hobby design the design in, uh, the pattern information is this large and comfy shawl will keep you warm in winter time and also perfect as a wrap for the chilly spring day there is no right side or wrong side so this shawl can be worn on either side and it has an interesting structure and beautiful stripes the pattern contains a photo guide and it measures a width of 100 inches which is 254 centimetres and the length is 54 centimetres or 23 inches. A yarn needle and some blocking mats is needed. You don't have to block it, I wouldn't have said if you don't really want to. I don't block anything very often. Um, it does have a gauge of 4x4 four four, which is 12 stitches by 9.5 rows which is 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. If you have any questions, they do do a and uh, they do suggest that you email them at at, um, at support at hobby dot com and please make sure that you include the pattern's name and number. So there it is again. I just thought that was really really lovely, and I'll be keeping that one in my stash because I would love to make it at some point. Then we have. Maiko the fox. Isn't he just adorable? I wasn't sure whether I've already shown this one without actually looking it up, but I just thought if I have, I'll show it again. But Maiko the fox. It's two skeins of the colour cognac, one skein of the colour silver, and one skein of the colour white. Easy Care Classic is light grey mix. Crochet hook 2.5 and a 4.5mm uh, hook. 
a small piece of black scrap yarn, two safety eyes of five millimeters and some stuffing. And the, the pattern information is Maiko the Fox is a cute fox crocheted in Friends Cotton 8 by 4 Parts of the pattern will have photo references so that it's easy to make. And then again, it's got the same website that you need to um, do it if you want some support. Oh, email address, sorry, for the support is the same as the last one. And also it has hashtags if you make it to put it on social media or anything like that. But I just love it and thought I had to show you. And then we have Boris the Bee. Now, Boris the Bee, um, there's some tips and some information on this one. It says, always stuff the head and body firmly. Always stuff between the head and the body as you sew the head on to avoid the wobbly head. Now, I always do, um, I always put either a piece of felt around, uh, around the neck area um, to keep it a bit more um, upright or otherwise I use a loo, loo roll innard and then stuff that and stuff around it just to give it a bit of stability. So there is always that. Work tightly to avoid holes in between the stitches and all pieces are worked in a spiral. There he is, I think he's well cute. And it's a 2.5 millimetre hook. It, he measures 22 centimetres. A piece of black scrap yarn for the eyes as needed, and some and some fibre fell. And they're saying to use rainbow cotton eight over four. Again, you don't need to use DK. It doesn't make any difference. And you need pastel yellow, greyish purple. Don't know what that's for, but I suppose just grey. Perhaps that's just what the colour's called. And then a natural white. Then we have a hammerhead shark. Now, I love making hammerhead sharks. I've made one before um, for my daughter, who is shark mad. Um, and it was a long, long time ago, even before I was doing videos. So um, when I came across that this one, I thought that one looks so good. I just love the fact that the head and the eyes, you know, are, um, are quite bulky and it just it just makes it look um more substantial you know um and it, and it just looks really nice um the skill level is intermediate it's a 2.75 millimeter hook 10 centimeter tall made with indicated the indicated yarn 10 millimeter safety eyes some super fiber fill uh stuffing an embroidery needle and some cardboard. We don't recommend to use cardboard if the amigurumi is for a baby. Maybe that is for to make sure the eyes stay solid. Um, and what I was saying to you about on on these bits here um, to make the shape. And uh, and then there's some photos um, photos to show you as it goes along. Um, again, I didn't. Uh, print out the whole of the pattern um, but there's one there to show you um, to get you started oh, I'm really sorry about the light I just don't know if it's going to show properly but I don't really want to shut the curtain because then I'll have to have the light on there you go um, and it's American Terms and again they've got um, a link for if you want to purchase the exact yarn and then um, it's the same principle for the email if you get stuck and then we've got we've just got two more from the hobby uh, website one is Luigi the goldfish and I love that I thought that was really cute and I love the fact that the tail and the fins um, are crinkly and I just thought it was a really nice, um, looked like a really good 
um, pattern. You know, like when you see it, you think, yeah, that's really well made. Um, but I like that, so I thought I'd show you. This uses cotton um, and a two millimeter hook, six millimeter eyes and some black embroidery thread, uh, so sewing pins, stitch markers, the same, you know, same normal things that you really need for it. Uh, the measurements are 16 centimetres or 6.25 inches and the pattern information is Luigi the goldfish is a crochet pattern suitable for adventurous beginners. If you have already mastered how to do single crochets, increasing and decreasing with this pattern, you can experiment with back loops, only stitches and non-symmetrical shapes. The body is worked in one piece starting from the head to the tip of the fin, the dorsal fin, the side fins and the tail are all made separately and sewn onto the body. Simple embroidery is added to the fins and to the body. Step-by-step -step photos are included after the written instructions in the last pages of the pattern. And there he is again. Super cute. Then we have a lanyard key ring, uh, key chain. And I thought this would be just fun um, if you have anything like if you're uh, walking the dog, you need to put your keys on it or anything really like that. Um, just have nice something to have something crocheted around your neck. And this is uh, and even just for the kids as well to have um, to have in their bag so that they know that they're not going to lose it. And it's just a bit different than any other key ring. Um, it's a lanyard keychain which is um, used with cotton, but again, you don't need to use cotton. Uh, 25 millimeter hook and one of those uh, cabina hooks. Combine cabina, cabina hooks. Um, and then they've got a link for the materials, and it, you only need 10 grams, so it's just you literally scrap yarn, and it's approximately 16 uh, inches long. So again, that's all there is for that one because I only did the first page. Oh, here we go. Okay, again. There we go. So yeah, there's that one. Um, and now we are literally just down to the last two, so I won't keep you much longer. And this is a baby pattern using front and back loops. But it's so lovely and chunky, I thought you had to see it if you didn't already have it. This light is terrible, isn't it? It's just ridiculous. Right, let me... Can you see that better? No, it's still not going to do it, is it? There. There we go. I love this being a chunky... Let me just move you around again. Um, I love this being a chunky um, cardigan and it's for experience. Obviously I need to know what the front and the back um, back post stitches are and things like that. But again, that's nothing really. Um, and the materials are Starcraft special, um, special DK for this and it's roughly 130 grams. So it's just over a ball. Um, you can use any color, of course. And they're suggesting that it's a four millimeter hook, five small buttons for a 20 inch chest, which is six to nine months old. Use a four, uh, 4.5 millimeter hook. And the gauge is five double crochets um, and three rows measuring approximately an inch. So the um, this one is to fit an um, 18 inch chest, which is three to six months. So they're suggesting that you can do it in a three to six months size and a six to 12 month size. So I just had to show you that as well. I thought that was really, really lovely. And then the last one is um, a blanket called Strange Signs and it's a motif pattern and it's really, really lovely. I saw this, someone do it um, on a Facebook page and I just had to show you it. And as soon as I realised it was a free pattern, I got to, I had to share it. But look at that. Isn't that lovely? You can make pot holders with them and all sorts, but I really, really love the design. 
and um, it's got square brackets and parentheses, whatever they are, um, if I've even said it right. But again, when you click onto it, you'll have a look and, and you'll see the pattern for what it is. But I do like the fact that it's given photos every step of the way. And if I show you on the back as well, I just love the pattern. And I don't think I would go any further than maybe round three or even five, you know, three and five, because I would just pick out bits and then do my own sort of thing. You can mix it with granny squares or anything, you know. Um, but I really, really loved it. So I had to show you it. Um, and there isn't really very much that explains it on here but they do go into um, a lot of detail with the photos like I say so um, that's definitely uh, worth a look but I really did love the pattern that it brings my, fa my phone won't focus so all in all I have now been talking for 56 minutes so I'm gonna go <laughs> don't worry for those of you that have stuck with me for the whole entire time thank you so much and um, I just appreciate you and I and I appreciate everyone that comes to my channel and watches me and supports me and gives me all the lovely comments so like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed please do um, because again this that would really help me but I am going to go because this is going to take a very long time to upload and I will see you very very soon and my next video is going to be Monday for my next episode so take care everyone and I hope you enjoy Free Pattern Friday take care bye <laughs>